Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to connect to mirror screen and what are the steps required. So basically first we need to connect it to the TV and we have one USB that acts as a power source and we have a Wi-Fi adapter that is used to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let me connect to the TV first. Okay. So so once you connect uh, the mirror screen and you will get this screen uh, so basically we have two options here one is with the apple logo and another is with the windows and android so basically first we need to, uh, to configure first we need to uh, keep the option on the apple that is airplay so after we connect to that uh, we can uh, see this URL 192.168.201 and uh, so just uh, then we can connect to the phone let me just show you all right and this is my Xiaomi Note 3 so first to connect it I need to go to the Wi-Fi and uh, search for this mirror screen you can see the password here PSK is your password uh, it can be any number so just type in here after you get connected here so basically go to browser and uh, you need to go to this URL this 192.168.203.1 so after you go to that URL you will get these options first thing you need to do is connect your Wi-Fi so you have to go to internet then it will give you the list of Wi-Fi so uh, I have already connected uh, with my Wi-Fi breaking good so just need to click it and uh, it will ask you for password and give the password and it would be connected and after it's getting connected you can see here uh, the Wi-Fi is connected and that is one device that is my Xiaomi Rode, uh, Redmi Note 3 and you can see that Wi-Fi is connected to the router means basically this device is connected to the internet so uh, once you get that you can from these options you can change the password or you can change the default mode uh, I have selected Miracast I will show you the later why I have selected that and you can select the resolution and and first thing after you get your device or mirror screen is that you need to upgrade your firmware you can do this from here just uh, do this and it will connect to the internet and it will upgrade your firmware I have already done that so okay so this thing is over your so uh, we have connected uh, our mirror screen and uh, we have configured it uh, the password and everything now now we have two options here this one here is airplay and dlna and here we can use android and windows phone so if you have uh, mac or any apple device you can connect it uh, with this option airplay or if you're having if your phone is having dlna option you can use it for example let me show you uh, in my xiaomi i don't have uh, dlna inbuilt uh, app so I have installed another app uh, it's also called as allcast you can get it on the play store so see once you open that app uh, it will show you the mirror screen or your you can select any one of that I have selecting this see as soon as I uh, connect this I'll get this option or you can see on my screen it's showing all cast logo so once you get that we have different options here you can use it to display on my TV okay so let me go to the gallery and uh, you have some images here just click on any image it will replicate on my TV see that's gorgeous and same like that you can select any photo from here and if you scroll it will switch to another photo so basically you can replicate anything on your TV uh, from 
images or any music or video anything from that let me just uh, play a music there okay so we have to go to audio option here and we can select uh, oh, basically you can select any song here and see once it gets connected it will load so so it started playing you can disconnect it from here so this is basically the app from which we can do it okay so so that's it uh, how we can use the airplay on dlna so uh, for example if you want to connect uh, or uh, mirror the screen of android then uh, you need to click on the button here on the mirror screen i'm going to push that button so so once you click on that button on the mirror screen that uh, box virtual box uh, switch to this android and windows so after uh, selecting this option all you need to do is go to settings in every phone has uh, different options here so but in Xiaomi you can search on Google like uh, where you have this option mostly it would be in display so but for me it's having here in more I have a wireless display here okay so once we click on that we'll get this mirror screen because basically what we have done is here you won't get uh, any URL or anything Be because first we need to go to this option and connect your Wi-Fi and once it's get connected here see you can see that it's already connected to Wi-Fi now you don't uh, you won't get uh, the Wi-Fi name as mirror screen basically you need to connect to the your home Wi-Fi and as the you can see that uh, the TV and my phone both are connected to the same Wi-Fi that is breaking bad see here it's showing as breaking good sorry and later you can see that uh, I'm having an option mirror screen just you need to click it and you can see here my name and it's just connecting so basically we got connected see my whole screen is uh, reflecting on my TV so I just got some notifications let me check yeah so you can see my phone screen here on my TV Samsung LED TV and so it's looking gorgeous for example now if I want to play if I want to I can see some lag here and basically maybe it's because of high resolution you can decrease the resolution to increase the speed now let me go to the gallery here in my phone just switch to gallery here see I can see her and let me just uh, rotate her the screen now yeah so we can uh, select any image here so this is Scarlett Johansson so basically it's replicating my screen as we can see here now let me play a game here let's go to this NFS so see here it's looking beautiful see here it's gorgeous just want it So I can select any here. See, you can see here the speed is pretty good to play the game. 
I'm going to buy Hummer now. <laughs> pretty good I mean this device is super cheap and we can connect any LED or LCD and you can have Wi-Fi option you can turn your normal LED or LCD to smart TV and I think it's pretty good and the options are very simple and so uh, that's it guys thank you thank you so much bye if you have any questions you can uh, ask me in the comments thank you bye